I got exposed to it from an innocent movie. I was literally watching just an innocent movie and it just popped in. And because you're young, because you are, you know, you are curious, okay? You want to know more. And before you know what's happening, you watch the first one, you watch the second one, and what is happening to your body? What's happening to your mind? Your body's beginning to, you know, tell you, oh, this will feel good. Try it, you know, touch yourself here. Do this and do that. And before you know what is happening, you know, you are addicted, okay? Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Victoria Ayodele Pash. If it's your first time here, thank you so much for joining me. If you're a team subscriber, you know I love you, you know I appreciate you. Thank you so much for always coming back. Okay, um, if this is your first on my channel, please consider subscribing, please like this video, and share this video to whoever you think might be in need of it, okay? So today, I have a very interesting topic to discuss. Um, it's quite sensitive, okay? So this is probably not the video that will get me a lot of views <laughs> or a lot of subscribers, but I think this is something um, that we really need to talk about especially because it's amazing how many DMs I've gotten in the past weeks of people who have come to um, ask me for advice about you know hey you know I'm dating someone is addicted to pornography I I just I just I just found out that my husband is addicted to porn you know I am addicted to porn I don't know what to do and this and this and that and that is one side of the conversation i've been um one side of the questions i've been receiving please pardon the noise okay and then the other type of um messages i've been getting i literally got one today i'm not saying this is the reason why but i have been getting messages like that you know um i literally just got one like a few hours ago about someone who is complaining about hey you know i just got married we are newly wed but you know i'm not enjoying you know the act you know my there's not what i thought it would be it's not i'm not like my expectations are not being met my husband has been satisfied but i'm not what's happening this is not what i envisioned it to be this is not what i thought it was going to be this is not what i was told it's going to be this is this is that what is happening and what's happening especially if you got married you know a virgin you know yeah so people going to marriage with so many expectations and then they realize that hey what's happening why is this not going the way i thought it would you know and the rest of it so those are the two kind of conversation i've been having and funny enough yeah the people who are asking about you know hey i'm not feeling it they are married people newly wet okay especially people who got married a virgin however the people who have been telling me about the people they are in a relationship with are actually really young people and it's really amazing the amount of um uh addiction to you know adult movies that you know is happening in this generation actually i was actually doing some research and there was something that i actually found out which is quite amazing because you know it's not it's it hap it happens or it affects or it affects both genders you know there was this statistic that i wanted to read out uh -huh. it says previously erectile dysfunction right was unheard of in men that was um, that were younger than 40 right but now due to the amount of porn being consumed by teens today erectile dysfunction is being found in males as young as 15 to 16 years of um, years old um, and this has never been seen before in our society right so they are saying that um the effect of so i'm going to talk about how porn is going to affect your marriage if you decide or if you are addicted to it if you don't start to take steps to actually start to stop it i'm not here to condemn you i'm not here to judge you i'm not here to tell you what to do with your body or whatever okay i am here to tell you that I'm here to give you the realities of what this is going to cost in your marriage. Whether you're a female, whether you're a male, like the effect might be different for the two of you, but there are a lot of similar effects that it's going to have on the two of you. And I'm saying this because, yes, I'm not saying this as someone who is, you know, um, holier than thou and coming to condemn you guys no okay i had my struggles when i was younger with this and yeah i can tell you for a fact that this if you don't deal with it it's going to become an addiction and when it becomes that it is definitely going to have a very huge effect in your marriage let me just clarify this okay um just for you to know that you know this is not a condemnation kind of video okay people get exposed to pornography f f you know from innocent you know research i told you i was reading i don't know if you were following the series when we we're doing the sex series well you know i was um me and my husband we were analyzing you know a guy who was literally going to look for uh, honest um uh, information about you know doing the do especially because he's a virgin and he ended up you know in porn sites and the rest of it so the truth is that you can literally be on your phone you know scrolling on social media innocently and this thing pops on your screen and before you know what is happening because our body is built to want to 
I don't know, the moment you see something or two people, it's just like when a man or a woman sees a sexy guy or a sexy guy with muscles or, you know, a man sees a lady with sexy bum and boobs and stuff like that. They are blood rush that just goes to certain parts of your body. Hormones start to work in your body. So when I'm scrolling my phone and I see something like that, what happens? Like, I get curious. My body, I don't know, for some reason, I can't explain what is happening inside of my body. And what happens? I want to check, especially if you don't have the Holy Spirit inside of you or you're not, you're not that strong in your faith. Even if you're stronger in your faith, we have pastors that are actually addicted to pornography. That's to tell you that this thing is actually more powerful than we than we think it is, okay? Because many of us are playing with, you know, adult movies as if it's just, oh, what? If I'm done, I'll leave it. Oh my God, it doesn't work that way, okay? It doesn't work that way. But anyways, don't let me get ahead of myself. So what was I saying? Yeah. Um, so yes, the truth is that you can get exposed to it anyhow. With your phone right now, it's so easy. With your laptop, it's so easy. Okay, you might literally be searching. And it's so bad that um, someone, you might literally be looking for an ad, looking at an ad for a remote control, okay? And the person doing the remote control ad is actually naked. That's actually one of the videos I want to shoot with Yemi. If you are yet to subscribe to my Truth and Tales podcast, you are wrong, okay? You are wrong. Go click on the link in my bio to see. Like, me and Yemi have very interesting conversation about topics like this, okay? So please go and subscribe to the truth and tales podcast okay and watch our videos we have really enlightening videos for you guys over there and also yeah that's also one thing that i wanted to mention our class our um, newly wed class is also coming up you know um uh next month in october 14th and 15th of october the link to register will also be in the description box below okay if you are in a situation where especially the other situation we just talked about about you know you just got married and sex is not what you think it should be or you're not enjoying intimacy in your marriage and the rest of it please i beg you register for that class okay so this person says that hi my name is this um she said uh i have an issue um I got married a month ago. I watched your video, it was very helpful. I have an issue. He seems to be enjoying it. We didn't break through until last, until weeks after. I, on the other hand, don't enjoy it. It doesn't hurt anymore, except when he tries to go deeper. You know, his thing goes all the way in. But my issue is that um, it doesn't feel good to me. Now I'm thinking maybe we, we even, uh, maybe we haven't even had sex. Maybe that's why it hurts. Um, when he's trying to go deeper and maybe that's why i don't enjoy it could you please help i'm um, supposed to hurt when it goes deeper and uh, why am i not enjoying it why is it not feeling good for me and the rest of it now i've had this particular question like i've had like not even exaggerating like five people in my dms asking the same question why am i not enjoying it how can i enjoy it what is happening to me am i broken is something wrong with me yeah um you need to join that class uh, i mean there's so much about you know and that's it also ties into what we want to talk about about so many ideas ideas we've gotten about you know intimacy you know in marriage you know especially as female you know we have oh my god i don't even want to go into that in this particular video because i don't want to lose focus but if you have questions like this if you have challenges like this okay please and please register for that class it will do you a whole lot of good okay if you are about to get married or if you are already married this is not a class for single people okay please all right so let's get into today's video yeah so yes, um, adult movies has become so rampant in our generation right now that, you know, you literally don't have to search for it. It's just right there. And it is very easy for you to get addicted to it. I got exposed to it from an innocent movie. I was literally watching just an innocent movie and it just popped in. And because you're young, because you are, you know, you are curious, okay? You want to know more. And before you know what's happening, you watch the first one, you watch the second one. And what is happening to your body? What's happening to your mind? Your body's beginning to, you know, tell you, oh, this will feel good. Try it, you know touch yourself here do this and do that and before you know what is happening you know you are addicted okay and that's one thing that would definitely affect you if you don't thankfully you know thankfully god being so good you know i was able to deal with that you know well before i got married but we have instances of people who after marriage they are still struggling with it okay and it becomes a problem why is and and that's what i want to address okay because many people feel like oh you know i'm just watching it to learn <laughs> Sister, you are not learning anything. If anything, you are actually um, you are actually conditioning your mind to think the wrong thing about intimacy, okay? Because trust me, and I always say this in my video, whatever is being shown on the TV is not what intimacy is. Whatever you're watching on your phone or you're showing, they're just acting. That's not actually what it is. And that's why so many people run into marriages with high expectations of what intimacy is supposed to be. Yes, intimacy is supposed to be lovely and awesome and sweet and whatever. However, it's not as... Coleto here is not as hard as they make it, okay? Um, but anyways, let's just get into it. Why is 
porn hard? Why is porn bad for your marriage? Let's just let's let's even talk about this into details. Why? Why is it bad? Why should I not do it? Okay, because like I said, people say, Oh, I'm going there to learn, oh, I'm just going to see, oh, I want to see where the thing enters and everything. And I mean, and I think my husband mentioned it in one of our videos that I mean there are ways you can actually get this information without going explicit, okay? Go to your biology books, go and look at the anatomy if you if that is the real reason why you want to you want to see it. I mean, there are Christian books you can actually read to help you guys, okay? And then you start to explore yourself. You go for, you know, if you want need to see a, uh, what they call a sex therapist or whatever, or, you know, somebody that would actually help you guys, definitely, definitely porn is not the right way, okay? And I'm talking to people that, especially those that are inexperienced, and you think that watching porn is going to help you. Yes, it might help you in, you know, helping you to see how it's done. However, you end up, you know, with a wrong mindset of what is supposed to be and wrong, you know, and other reasons. So let us talk about it. Why is it very bad for your relationship? Now, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is that um watching adult movie is going to introduce mistrust or distrust or secrets into your marriage okay and trust me i always say that see if there's no trust in marriage then you don't have anything okay like literally there is a huge problem in your marriage if you don't trust your partner but that is what watching porn is going to do because the truth is that nobody wants to feel inadequate in their marriage nobody wants to feel like oh i'm not enough why do you have to watch that why do you have to go and you know um stay in the bathroom and you know watch porn and masturbate and whatever when i'm here you know because what that passes to me if my husband is doing that is that i am not enough to get you riled up i am not enough to um uh, um to you know get you up and standing i am not enough to satisfy you that's why you have to go to these other channels why am i not enough that is the message it will be passing to your partner and because you don't want your partner to feel that way because you know deep down inside of you that your partner is not the problem it is you that have the problem what happened you have you start to sneak around you start to you know delete your chat history i'm sorry your browsing history you start to you know go up you know just do some kind of sneaky sneaky thing and the truth is that see lies start from to like from something as little as you know i'm watching point i don't want her to know because i don't want to hurt her feelings before you know what is happening you're spending money you don't want her to know because you don't want to hurt her feelings before you know what and that's what lies lies do that's what secrets does okay it introduces mistrust into your relationship so yes that is definitely one reason why you know it's not advisable even if the two of you are in, in on it okay even if the two of you are saying that oh you know point is okay now marriage and whatever Imagine coming home and you catch your husband doing it and you know with with the TV you no matter how open your marriage can I mean is I mean there's no way you won't feel some kind of inadequacy as a person okay and your partner if he truly loves you would not want to put you in that kind of situation so what happened it starts to sneak around and it starts to do it and that's what porn does it introduces isolation okay isolation into your marriage because this is a quicker way to do it you know anyways that's another point okay maybe i should just talk about that it also introduces isolation listen intimacy means that we are we are intimate you know it's um there's i saw somewhere where they said intimacy um means that into me you see into me you see like that's what intimacy is like we are seen into each other we are together that's what sex is supposed to be it's supposed to bond the two of you together but when i can satisfy myself without my partner i i am not born to her like that bond that we're supposed to create you know through knowing each other through being the only person we can ex have that experience with i mean the only person you can have if you are married you know um i mean those that are married normally okay to one person okay you know you're married to a person i mean and you only get to experience that kind of pleasure that come with that comes with you know intimacy that comes with doing the do in your marriage you only get to experience it with that one person there's this kind of bond that it creates between the two of you however when you can have that kind of pleasure from just watching a video on your phone but from watching random strange people doing it on your screen that bond is not there anymore with your partner you start to share that bond with other people so it creates isolation where there should be intimacy in your marriage you are not isolated you can now just stay in your screen and from people you don't have any kind of emotional connection to people you don't even know from strangers don't doing random things on the screen you start to connect with them instead you start to connect with your screen you start to connect with people that are not real okay that are literally just acting okay rather than having or sharing that connection with your partner so that is definitely one way that you know um 
uh, adult movies is going to affect you know your marriage okay now another point is that it decreases the level of satisfaction that you get or that you get as a partner okay it decreases your level of satisfaction the level of satisfaction you get from your partner a level of satisfaction your partner receives from you why because you can always go to somewhere um, to the to your screen and satisfy yourself so what happens to your partner my husband says said something you know um, in one of our videos that porn is actually a very selfish act right because you are only into yourself you're only um, you're only um, concerned about your own intimacy normally God gave us sexual urges so that when we feel like it okay God created marriage so that when I feel those urges I can go to my wife and share that moment with but when I don't no longer have to go to my wife and I can just quickly go to the bathroom and settle myself it reduces the kind of satisfaction that the two of you should be having sexually okay because you are cheating your partner okay so I, and I don't feel desired I don't feel like my husband desires me anymore because it's not coming to me the way I think it should be coming to me and I don't know that the reason why he's not coming to me is not because he doesn't feel sexual or he does not feel aroused rather you know he just has other way of settling himself okay yeah so when you don't when you no longer have to go for to your partner to satisfy her you now and it gets to it gets so bad it gets so bad and i think there's another point but i think it relates to this so let me just join it together okay so it gets so bad that some people actually prefer you know um doing it by themselves you know just watching random people and you know doing it rather than meeting their partner that is one thing that porn is going to do to you when you get married okay it reduces okay uh, okay now i think now i've, I've mixed the point let me conclude with the first one before i get to that <laughs> okay yeah so it reduces the level of satisfaction you are giving to your partner or your partner is receiving from you and what happens when your partner is not satisfied sexually that is a danger in your marriage if me as a wife don't feel like my husband is satisfying me or he doesn't feel like i'm satisfying him enough that is a recipe for disaster because when i start to see any tom dick or harry that seems that they are up to the task before you know what is happening temptation is going to happen because trust me brother sister body no be firewood okay the body is not a firewood it's not a wood it's not a plank okay the body has desires okay and when when you have already satisfied yourself just by watching whatever okay you don't have the desire anymore i don't know if you know how people feel when they finish having you know doing they do unless you're a machine when you finish doing it you feel tired and exhausted imagine if your wife needs you at that moment but you cannot you cannot um you cannot um uh, be up to the task anymore why because you've already wasted you know um yourself and then your partner is not satisfied and if it is your partner doing that you end up not being satisfied okay so if you if you get addicted to porn trust me you're going to enter into a marriage with an unhappy partner because there is no way that you would e and that's the next point so let me just quickly talk about that there is no way that you as a as a porn addict will ever find enough satisfaction in just intimacy and that's what i want to talk about when you when you start to watch so much porn and you you know um you start to you know you start to get more because what pornography usually does is that it makes you start to touch yourself because you just you're not just watching things happening and your body is telling you and uh, your body's your hormones are you know haywire and stuff and you're just sitting there and watching no before you know what is happening you start to touch you start to do do stuff to yourself and the rest of it and what that does to you okay is that you know um you start to because that is um that is see one thing you need to understand is that see the pleasure that sex gives you know when you get to that point of ecstasy and the rest of it it's so amazing that you want to keep having it over and over again because because that is the kind of pleasure that you know it's 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 like the highest form of pleasure any man can ever have okay so imagine having that by just sitting in your room you know and doing it before you know what's happening you go back tomorrow you go back next tomorrow the fact that you get you now you now enjoy watching porn and masturbating than actually you know um doing it with your partner you start to enjoy that you start to feel more pleasure than doing it with your partner because especially when you're not married okay and that is the way you i mean you're so used to satisfying yourself it becomes your brain becomes conditioned to see that as the only way for you to get pleasure okay especially if you're a woman okay that's where you know remember this this um that's what a lot of women are actually struggling with in their marriage right now okay because especially women who married virgins okay especially because yeah we have a lot of virgins okay in quotes that you know um to use other ways to satisfy themselves when your brain becomes conditioned that this is the way your body can get that kind of pleasure when you and your husband start to actually do it you won't get there as 
it would take actually a very long time for you to get there why because your brain is not used to this okay it's not used to this so it does not know okay and you as a man even when you eventually start to do it with your partner you realize that you you don't you cannot have that intimacy with your partner instead even when the two of you are doing it you are having visions of the movies you've watched of the um books you've read of the people you start to have visions of people doing it whilst you're doing it with your partner okay that's what introduction or that's what you know porn is going to do and um, that's what a lot of movies is going to do to your marriage and you don't want that okay so that is what it does you get more satisfaction and that's why you see marriage i'm not satisfied and what is it that your husband has a low sex drive no he doesn't have a low you know um sex drive what happens he has been looking for other ways to and because I know what I said, you know, that my husband mentioned the other time that porn is actually a very selfish way to, uh, it's actually very, a very selfish act because who, when you can literally sit down and watch people doing it and you can satisfy yourself and get to the point, why put all the work? Like why? Why start to kiss, start to hug, start to uh, rile her up, start to kiss her leg? It, it's work. T to be honest, I'm, I think there's a part of, you know, intimacy or um, doing the do that people don't actually talk about. It is work. <laughs> Before you get to that point where you guys start to enjoy it or whatever, it takes a lot of, you know, discomfort, okay? It takes a lot of um, uh, willingness to be able to, you know, stand up. Sometimes you just want to lie down there and watch a movie and do your thing and be okay and get, get, get it gone or get it over with rather. But you know, you have to stand up. You have to start to persuade her. You have to start to, you know, touch her and kiss her and do stuff and do stuff to her just for her to be able to get there. Then you have to stand up and start to push in and out. And you know, there's a lot of work that goes into intimacy as much as the pleasure is. I mean, the pleasure is definitely worth the work. However, if you are already used to not having to do those work, why will you now want to go and be doing it, okay? You only do maybe once in a week, you know, just to be able to satisfy your wife or maybe once in a month or twice in a month. You know, to be able to satisfy that, to not be as if you are important, okay? So then you show her. But most of the times, you rather just be in your room and, you know, do your thing by yourself. And when that becomes a ritual, you become addicted. And what that happens, and when that happens, you no longer desire to have sexual intimacy with your partner, okay? You no longer desire to be intimate with your wife or to do the do with your wife because now your mindset, your everything is so fixed and your brain has been conditioned to believe that the only way you can get to this point right is when you're watching people you're on your own and you're touching yourself okay yeah that is what and that's the thing you i don't know if you don't know that our brain is trained we train our brain uh, sorry we train our brain to everything that we believe in today everything that we do is what we have conditioned our brain to believe and that's what our brain we keep you know um we keep acting whenever a brain sees a, um you know the brain record um I, I remember this one in science class brain responds to stimulus or stimuli okay when there's a stimulus or stimuli that is an activity you know the brain has a reaction it responds to it okay because that is what the brain has been trained to recognize okay so yeah if you get addicted to porn it's going to be a big issue and once your brain gets conditioned that this is what intimacy is this is what sex is when you and your wife when you finally get married you'll be cheating your wife or you'll be cheating your husband because you will not be able to give him the hundred percent of your sexual life that you're supposed to bring into the marriage now you are giving 50 percent to porn you're giving 50 to him or even worse you're giving 60 to porn and 40 to him or even you are giving him 60 and you're giving porn 40 it's not still enough okay so every time you have the desire every time you have the drive the thing that should come to your head the first thing you should think of is your husband or oh, where's my husband coming home or oh, what you text him you do what you know just that i can't wait for you to come home you are thinking of you are anticipating his, his return okay that is what it is supposed to, that's what that desire is supposed to brew in your heart but when that desire comes and the next thing you're thinking of is ah let me quickly go to the bathroom and, and sort myself out let me touch myself let me watch this movie or the first thing that comes to your mind when you have that desire is one movie you watch or one this thing and then before you know what's happening you're touching yourself and the rest of it that means that there is a problem and you need to deal with it okay you need to deal with it and let me just address this before i go on you know i was talking about the young people who are in my dm talking about who is addicted to porn and whatever you don't know what you're signing up for okay never agree to go into a relationship with someone who is addicted, especially as a virgin lady, okay? Never, and even if you're not a virgin, okay? Even if you whatever, and you've decided to be celibate, you get married, even if you don't decide. See, anyways, I'm talking to... <laughs> 
anyways just please make sure that um if he has a problem with you know um adult movies let him sort that out before the two of you start anything and be sure that he has sorted he has sorted out make sure that he has an accountability partner make sure that he's actually putting in the work and the discipline make sure do your due diligence and be sure that he's rid of it before the two of you start to have a relationship okay yeah so yeah porn addiction is actually very very um it's not it's not healthy for your marriage okay i know we already talked about emotional bonding that's supposed to come with you know um doing the do with your partner you know you bond emotionally huh when the bible says that the two of them were naked and they were unashamed like that's actually the um the that's the the theme of our uh, wedding wedding night class you know the one that is coming up in october make sure that i click on the link below if you are getting married very soon yeah so what was i talking about yeah the one where we talked that said that the two of them were naked and they were unashamed that is god's original plan for intimacy in marriage where i am naked my husband is naked and we have no shame we are naked with each other and we are you know we are free you know when you get married like that's how it happens eventually <laughs> you know you get to that point where there's this one person that i can be free in front of and i don't have any form of shame I'm, there's nothing there is no secrets between us that is what intimacy is supposed to be it's supposed to be that moment where the two of you you know you can be with each other love on each other and there is no shame whatsoever but what pornography does or what adult movies does to you is that it detaches the intimate parts of doing the do it's the part it's, it detaches the intimate the intimacy that is supposed to come with sex it makes you separate from the acts okay it makes you i don't know i don't know how to i don't know if i'm saying it properly but it makes you separate from the acts basically like it's like yeah that is i mean it's just it's just it's just it's just doing the do it's just sex i mean i can just sit down here and do it and that's it it takes the intimacy part or the intimate part out of it it takes the connecting part out of it okay however it doesn't it takes the connecting the human connecting part yeah the human connection part out of it okay however the connection now comes as an addiction the connection that you're supposed to have with doing the do with your partner now turns to an addiction that you have with random strangers doing it and one other point oh god that you know makes me feel like see if you are into um um you know adult movies i mean you are doing so much damage to yourself that you don't know let's first of all talk about the physical damage or the um, biological damage you're doing to yourself i just read i started this um video talking about um um what are they calling it now a statistic that was talking about you know the rate of erectile dysfunction you wonder why as a 14 year old you know you have an erectile dysfunction you newly got married to your husband and after one minute is done what happened okay i'm not saying that that is always the case sometimes it's uh it's a medical condition sometimes it's just new to the whole thing and he needs to get the hang of himself and all of that that's one of the things that we discuss also in our wedding night class my husband actually takes the guys through that okay so yeah make sure that you you um you click on the link below and register for the class okay if you are in need of it so what was i talking about yeah you realize that after one minute is done you realize that but when he's watching his, uh, his movies when he's watching the movie like it can go on and on and on and you know whatever but the moment he enters into you that's it and this statistic is saying that usually that usually happens from men that are above 40s and the rest of it but you see a man or a boy of 20 something using viagra what is happening it it was this is not how it's supposed to be you're supposed to have your energy you're supposed to have the rush the urges and whatever i suppose like you're supposed to see a woman naked and your body's supposed to respond that's the normal way that god created you when you see a woman in all of her glory your body is supposed to respond you know that is how god created you but because we have been so exposed to so many wrong and you know um pictures and images and videos and content sexual content we realize that you are seeing it is not even having any effect on you you are not standing up your guy is not raising up okay as you you as a woman you are not feeling it you are seeing your husband but there's nothing going on inside of you of course apart from the other factors that i talked about about cleanliness and the rest of it that could affect and tiredness and the rest of it but you realize that you are not you know they it's your body not the ginger you what is happening because your body has been so used to you know doing um to uh um, to the movie you know i talked about if i said the movie you know i'm talking about you know um adult movies your body has been so used to the movie so they said that now when you see your a naked man it doesn't do anything but you watch a movie 
okay watch two people doing it you see your body doing all sort of things your mind again has been conditioned to make your body feel that way only when it sees images like that okay so yes biological effects erectile dysfunction even you as a woman the inability to get aroused okay by seeing someone that you are actually in love with okay so yeah you can actually be in love with a person and not be sexually attracted to him why because of how you have conditioned your brain okay now another reason is because what was that other reason now ah yeah is the fact that see uh uh these movies okay they come they evolve the way it was in the 90s not the way it is in the 80s or the way it is in the 20s and the 2020 and the rest of it it evolves it comes with different approaches different styles different people different faces and everything and when it becomes a problem is the fact that even if you're if you know you're just addicted or you started with old couples maybe you're watching you know adult movies on couples having intimacy in their marriage very soon it will get boring trust me because we are uh we are we are like i said we are we are naturally when it comes to a sexual um part of us right we love varieties okay but men men and women okay i'm not just talking about men okay what happens is you start to explore you start to look for oh what other ways which other one before you know you're looking at gym instructor and lady before you know you're looking at hmm, teacher and students before you know you're looking at father and daughter before you know you are looking at daughter mother and son before you know you are looking at underage before you know you are looking at child infant before you know your mind is becoming changed and corrupted now you realize that you no longer get you know aroused by just watching um uh couples you know are doing their thing anymore in adult movies and the rest of it you don't you no longer get aroused by it now you need to watch a teenager now you need to watch a child now you need to watch a mother and a son that is the only way you can get to that place okay and before you know what is happening your mind is changing now you are seeing a teenager you cannot see an innocent teenager walking without your body telling you something you cannot see now you are seeing your mother and you are thinking things god forbid <laughs> i mean <laughs> like that's how bad it gets that is literally how bad if you listen to stories of you know um people who have been addicted who have now been healed they've gone to rehab and the rest of it they will tell you the things that it made them like hmm. and that is when it begins and before you know what is happening what you don't know hmm, is that the more people that are interested in a particular content if for instance more people are interested in contents that regard teenagers what happens they start to recruit more teenagers and indirectly you become a part of child trafficking yeah yeah if you don't know that know that now so if you say and, and condemn people that are trafficking children and whatever and that you are a part of them yes if you consume those kind of content you are also a part of them because because you give them the attention you give them the views and everything they get to recruit more innocent young children that are naive to come and act those movies for you for you to be able to satisfy yourself talk about selfishness talk about wickedness okay so yes in case you don't know you are also a part of it and that is the hard truth that nobody wants to hear okay but that is the truth you are also a part you're part of those sponsoring you know the, the traffickers you are part of them okay so yeah anyways um this point is gonna get me angry but let us move on now to the babambari <laughs> babambari means the most uh, the most important uh effect that this thing has on you is that it gives you a wrong expectations of what intimacy is supposed to be in marriage and i know i've spoken about this you know several times in most of experience talking about when i was doing the wedding night um series i talked about how you know our movies is going to tell you <laughs> that when your husband wants to meet with you he will tear your clothes he will pin you to the wall he will hold your hands he will hold you like a prisoner he's going to put your leg on the fan he's going to tie your other leg to the door he's going to <laughs> <laughs> anyways they will sell to you a very a, an acted unrealistic idea of what um intimacy is supposed to be about and the truth that you don't see in the screen is that see most of those ladies that are doing those positions and doing all of those things they are in serious pain they are doing that thing because of what they need to get because of the money that they are getting out of it there is no satisfaction the morning the morning the whatever they are all acted okay it is a movie they are actress and they are good at what they do because it's their job but majority of time they are in pains of it okay 
there was this i don't know what series on netflix i can't remember i don't know it's about i think sex education or something i don't know but I, there was a particular episode we're talking about you know interviewing a, a former um porn star whatever they call them and she was talking about how you know every time you know she was always in pain she would go and cry she hates herself they caught the ass she's caught herself you know there's so many regrets that comes out of it but they have to do it for you know their own reasons okay but the moment the camera says caught it's almost like a life you know you know it's like a world just comes crashing down on her you understand those people most of the people you see that are acting these movies most of them they are not they are not doing it out of their free will some of them are you know i don't know do you need to pay to sort certain needs in their life some of them are addicts that actually need help need like professional help some of them are just you know people who are broken okay and we are patronizing them we are encouraging the act we are encouraging their exploitation okay that is what we're doing when we are watching those things so yeah so yeah i was saying giving you wrong expectations so now you've watched you know a seemingly you know real whatever um intimacy between two strangers and you come home okay to your wife that you married in the church <laughs> married <laughs> legally and you know a normal person and you want her to you know dress up like a cat to meow to you to <laughs> So you know tear off your t-shirt to do this and to do that to be want to break your tv you want to do this and do that you know it doesn't make any sense okay and then when they are acting because they have to be good at what they do to get paid okay they over exaggerate the pleasure okay they make you feel like oh it's like the world is going to end they make you feel like from the beginning of it to the end of it is enjoyable but the truth is sometimes from the beginning it's not enjoyable sometimes when you get to the middle sometimes when you get to some point you're tired that you're like oh god please stop okay but they make you feel like oh you can go for hours and you feel the pleasure every second of it and it's not the reality okay so it gives you a wrong idea of what it's supposed to be and then it makes you feel like and that's one of the issues i think a lot of ladies who come to my dms to ask me about oh i'm not enjoying doing the doing my marriage what is happening it makes you feel it gives you the idea that you know just by him going in and out of you like you're going to feel like you're on top of the world like that you just have to sit down there and let him grill you and drill you and you're going to enjoy it and you'll be shouting and moaning and everything <laughs> but you get to realize that you know intimacy is actually hard work okay um so yes those are the things i'm going to share this video has been very long and i don't want it to be longer than this again if you need to know more about this topic you want to get married soon or you're married and you need help in that situation or you're a virgin and you're about to get married or you're virgin you just got married and you think you need advanced and this is also for people who have attended the previous class because this is like an advanced class okay now you're married and you think that okay you need to learn more and the rest of it it's open to you and your spouse also okay yeah please make sure that um you um you register below after you register you know i'm going to contact you to be sure that you're actually about to get married i mean i'm i, I want to see your wedding invitation okay like yeah <laughs> because this is not a class to be teaching you what to do with your girlfriend or no please no anyway so yes thank you very much for joining me i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please make sure you leave a comment you leave a like on this video um you subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel you share this video to whoever you think might be in need of it and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video okay um remember please remember to follow the truth and tales podcast channel if you watch this video and you have not subscribed to truth and tales podcast channel then you are not doing good okay you are not doing right okay if you truly love me you love my content you enjoy my content and you really really want to support me you know on this journey please make sure you subscribe to the truth and tales podcast and watch the videos that we have there to really be a blessing to you okay thank you very much to, um, for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye mm -hmm.